Immunologist Angelika Riemer works at the German Cancer Research Center in Heidelberg. The Austrian researcher's work has aroused high hopes. She's taken on the job of making a widespread pathogen harmless to humans. It's a tumor-causing virus from the family of papillomaviruses. HPV, or human papillomavirus, is today considered the second most common carcinogen in humans. Only tobacco causes more cancer. A total of 5% of all cases of cancer worldwide are caused by HPV. Cervical cancer is among them. Angelika Riemer is looking to create a vaccine that both recognizes and eliminates the virus. Her prospects are good, not least because she has the support of a Nobel Prize winner. Our research is based on the findings of Professor Harald Sulhausen, who realized that the human papillomavirus triggers cervical cancer. A preventive vaccine is already available against these viruses, but we don't yet have any therapeutic vaccines. Our aim now is to develop a therapeutic vaccine for those individuals who already carry the virus. Harald Sulhausen's research won him the Nobel Prize for Medicine in 2008. Angelika Riemer was already an acclaimed researcher when Sahausen recruited her for the German Cancer Research Center. Mm -hmm. The two met after a talk he gave at Harvard Medical School. Riemer leapt at the chance to introduce herself. The German scientist was impressed by her work. I studied her resume and her publications on the Internet. That convinced me that she was the right person for a job that Manfred Lautenschläger's foundation had so generously set up. I'm pleased that she was willing to take it on. And we're all happy to have her here. Angelika Riemer has been in Heidelberg for a year now. She has her own research group and has been able to set up her own lab. One million euros have been earmarked to fund the research project for an initial four years. <laughs> Getting the chance to set up a group with so much money, where there's a postdoctoral position, a PhD position and a lab technician position, is really worth a lot in scientific terms. What it basically means for us is independence. The researchers want to activate the human immune system to make it locate and kill cancerous cells on its own. But first, it has to be able to recognize them. For that, the researchers are looking for typical viral markers on the tumors, known as epitopes. Identifying the epitopes will take another two years, then developing a vaccine will take five years. But these are the kinds of time frames you have to get used to in the field of medical research. Her goal? A vaccine that treats tumors. That would mark a huge step forward in the battle against cancer.